a friend of mine asked me to teach a painting class for her daughter's birthday party. So I'm gonna meet her inside and we're gonna pick out some supplies for that. Sometimes I wish I just had blinders on when I walk into an arts and crafts store. It's like, stay focused, Nat, stay focused. I found my favorite aisle of the store, the paint section. We're gonna go with this package of paint brushes because it's a nice big pack, it's inexpensive, and it has a nice variety of medium sized and small sized paint brushes for the girls. And we're gonna do student grade acrylic paint. This is my friend Kirsten, and we're here at her house prepping for the paint party. So Ella's birthday is in two days. We're really excited. So I'm glad that Natalie is coming to join our party. So we are going to be painting on canvas bags for her party. We thought that they were more useful to the girls. So we're gonna be painting on them. I ordered them on Amazon for a set of 12, it was only $19.99. To prep these bags, we're gonna paint on them with just this regular latex paint that you can pick up at your local paint supply store. And this is just a sample jar and we're gonna mix it up really well and just paint a square on it. That way, when the girls are painting with their acrylic paint, the paint doesn't bleed through the fabric on them. So let's get started. We started out by folding up garbage bags and putting them inside of the bags so that we could paint on the bags without having the paint bleed through. But then we figured out later on that cardboard boxes cut up actually worked a lot better because then when we were done painting them, we could pull them out more easily and hang them up to dry. The problem with the bag was that when we tried to pull the bags out, the paint that bled through the fabric clung to the bags and it was difficult to separate the garbage bag from the canvas bag. So I'd highly recommend using cardboard to put in between when you're painting. And then when you're done you just pull it right out and then hang it up so that the front is away from the back. And we're just doing a really loose square kind of working in a diagonal motion and allowing it to feather out towards the tips of the edges. The reason I thought to prime the bags was because I remembered how it felt like the lavender bag I painted kept drinking up all of my acrylic paint. House paint is much less expensive than artist grade acrylic paint. We ended up painting 12 bags for the dozen girls that would be at the party and then hung them all up to dry. Hi, my name is Ella. Welcome to my ninth birthday. I like hermit crabs because they're cute. And this is my hermit crab pebble. And I have five more. And that's a total of six hermit crabs. And I just, they're just really cute. To start, each girl will have a primed canvas bag, a medium and small paintbrush, a cup of water, and a plate for their acrylic paint. For the paint, you'll need to wait to distribute that once everyone has finished their sketch. For the sketch, I used a step-by-step -step tutorial by Art for Kids Hub. I'll link that in the description. I broke the simple painting down by section. In the first section, we learned how to make brown for the sand. While I demonstrated, Kirsten and her sister-in-law walked around answering questions, passing out new paper towels, and changing out water for the girls. I would say it's a good idea to have a ratio of one adult per three children like we did. If the kids are older, you might be able to get away with one adult per six children. In between sections, I would stop to take a look at what the girls were doing, answer questions, and help them with different parts. Throughout the lesson, I reminded the girls that this was their piece of art and that they were allowed to do with it as they wished. 
We set their bags out to dry while they enjoyed the rest of the party. The party went really well. Kirsten even made these cute little Rice crispy paintbrush pops for everybody as party favors. I hope you got some ideas for throwing your own paint party. Please like, comment, and subscribe to keep in touch. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.